we're going to go over battery installation and controls. Number two Phillips, remove these. This will be if your mower ships without a battery or if you have to replace your battery. This can almost reach the ground, so be mindful of the wires. Set your screws aside. New battery is a used battery, but new battery. Negative is green or as blue, sorry. Positive is red. There's a plus and minus here. And I want to remove the hold down. Set your battery somewhat in. You're going to want to hook up the positive first. It's also number two Phillips or possibly uh, eight millimeter socket. So red, this is off the charger. Red and red. Put your screw in. Carefully thread it in without cross threading. Don't want it to be super tight, just good and snug. Close the cap and do the same with the negative. We need to hold this up. The bare wire goes underneath. As long as it's threading nice, you know you're not cross-threading it. Close the cap. Now everything's live now, so you have to be mindful of the wiring. Put the hold down on it. Flat washers. Thread the nuts on by hand. Then a 10 millimeter socket. So they're just tight so the battery doesn't bounce around while watching that your wrench isn't touching anything in here. This is the video installing the battery placed in here right now you have your negative blue with a small minus sign positive red plus sign you want to hook the positive side up first the open eyelet goes on the bottom one with a cover goes on top line them up on the terminal drop a screw in and using a number two Phillips snug it down Same with the negative. Empty wire on the bottom. A white wire coming off the cover with the guarding on it. Goes on the top. Drop the screw in. Line it all up. one's harder to see. Close both caps. Get everything protected. Then install the battery hold down. Watching that you don't hit any wires. Move 
the negative to a better position. And that'll sit right on there. Flat washer. And the nut. and a nut get them down to snug using a 10 millimeter socket get them to where they're finger tight put your 10 millimeter on a ratchet and you want that to be pretty tight so it doesn't make that battery bounce around. Close caps, ready to close the cover. Line this cover up, make sure no wires get pinched. And then screw it back together. Now you can use just regular Phillips. Until they're just hand tight. Or use a gun. Just so they're not too tight. 